Okay, Terry Gordon from h t Gordon Plains. Beautiful big bandsaw here, and I use a uh, tungsten tip blade. They're very expensive, $400 for this blade, but it is about 5.8 metres long. Lots of teeth, um, and the band lasts longer than the um, uh, teeth become blunt before the band is fatigued. So I wanted to be able to resharpen it. It's taken me a while to work out a method. But what I found on CTC Tools website is this uh, diamond, very fine diamond wheel has a 45 degree edge there to allow me to get into the gullet of the uh, blade. Uh, it's an 800 grip wheel and you'll see on the website, uh, sorry on the video, uh, we've listed the type of wheel it is and uh, the website that you can get it on. We've had to make up a little brass inset to fit uh, my grinding wheel, uh, my hand grinder. So it's a very simple thing to make and you have to make it to suit your uh, angle grinder. Uh, but that could be done at any machine shop um, around the place. Fit that on, then screw that down. And I've taken the guard off just to make it clear of what we're doing here. Now, as it turns out, my angle grinder has this little bracket here which allows it to sit flat on the cast iron saw table. Now, the first thing I did was get my angle measuring guide and worked out by putting that on the blade like as such, I worked out the rake of the teeth and I had to get my goggles on but it turned out to be 8 degrees. Now, I then worked out by putting my grinder like this and setting it up with the bracket there and this sitting on the bench, it turned out to be the correct angle. However, with different angle grinders, you may have to make up some sort of bracket like this or put a spacer here to get it at the correct angle because you need to maintain the rake that was set on this from the when it was manufactured. Um, as I said, this is an 800 grit wheel. You need that fine wheel to be able to uh, grind the hard tungsten steel in the tips of the blades. And from here on in, it's virtually a matter of bringing the fence in here to help me guide uh, my angle grinder. So I center, put the blade in the center line of the grinder lock my fence off and from here on in it's a matter of switching your grinder on bringing your tooth down so bring your grinder in then bring your tooth down to the grinder right then back your back the blade off bring the grinder out if you don't do that, if you hold it there and then bring the grinder straight out, you will lose the rake on your teeth. So you must go into the gullet, bring the blade or the tooth down to the cutting wheel, lift the blade, take your grind away, come down, grind again, relief, come in, down, and you just keep working away. Well, that is a lot of teeth on this blade. It took me less than an hour to actually grind it, and it cut as if it was a new blade. So I've, I've sharpened this blade twice now, and I suspect I've got a couple more sharpens. There's enough tungsten in those teeth to get at least two more sharpens out of it, which extends the life of this blade significantly. This blade's been on the bandsaw since July, sorry, January, 2012. So uh, whilst it was a $400 blade um, made by Lennox in the USA, 
by being able to resharpen it, there's some significant um, cost savings over the life of this bandsaw. It could last me, depending on the fatigue of the, the band, and the way you find fatigue is you'll see in between the gullets, you'll start to see little cracks. This shows no sign whatsoever of fatigue. So there's a great little tip to uh, save you some money. I think this grinding wheel only cost me about $25 uh, plus postage from Hong Kong. Um, get your, a brass insert to um, fix it to your grinder and I suspect you can sharpen uh, other types of carbon steel blades or um, bimetal blades by having your blade in the bandsaw and using this method. Um, I would highly recommend doing this. These are great blades, but they are expensive if you can't resharpen them.